All right, turkey season is drawing near. We decided today that we're gonna pattern our shotguns. I got my personal gun here. This is a Benelli M2 20 gauge. Also got a Burris Fast Fire. These things are pretty sweet. Great, great, great thing to have for uh, kids and, and really anybody. But if you got a kid, it's an awesome way to teach them how to be able to acquire their sight. So check those out. This is a youth model. I am short in stature. I bought it to really, really for my son, but I'm a, I'm a small guy, so it works great for me. Youth model, light, short, easy to tote through the woods. I also have Martin's 12 gauge Super Black Eagle 3, and it has been through the ringer through duck season, so we're gonna check it. We got a Kix choke tube on here and we're, uh, we're gonna pattern these guns, see what they do. Our shell that we have chosen is the new Heavy 18 from Heavy Shot. It's their TSS. Um, Heavy Shot's been really good about having awesome patterns over the years, and uh, they just broke into the TSS market, and these things I've heard are super, super tight, so you can get a little bit further range um, than you would with just your average Heavy Shot, so. First up. Three inch, number sevens, ounce and a half. Let's see how they pattern. Fire in the hole, plug your ears. All right, let's go look at that, not too bad. All right, as you can see, this is at 40 yards with a 20 gauge. This is our number seven shot. That's not too bad. I'm actually kind of impressed with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna replace this target with another one. We'll shoot it. Stay tuned. All right. On to the nines. The sevens weren't too bad. I'd hunt with that, but I've been really excited about trying out these nines. I've heard a lot of good things about the nines and these vanillas. So, let's try that out. Ready? Yep. All right, find the hole, plug your ears. Oh my land. You gotta be kidding me. Y'all come look at this. This is unreal. Now, if that ain't a confidence booster, I don't know what is. I was aiming here, hit a little high, that's okay. I like to sight mine in just shooting just a little bit high. So if I aim it as waddles, it's got all over the neck and the head. But our concentration right here in the 10 ring is unbelievable. And that's really awesome for a 20 gauge too. All right, shot her 20 gauge. It looks awesome. The sevens and the nines both performed wonderfully. Uh, I do like the nines a little bit better in my personal opinion. But now we're gonna check Martin's gun. Try out the sevens first. Heavy shot also makes a three and a half inch in these. Threes do just fine. I'm not trying to shoot them out crazy. Glasses on. Fire in the hole. What a big old gun, look at that. Gotta move it just a little bit. Martin's a big man. Not a living. That is a pattern. Little left. Wouldn't worry about that, that could've been me. Man, that's tight. Let's go look at this one. That pattern looks awesome. Number sevens in the 12 gauge. Uh, great up and down, a little bit to the left, but that was probably me. So we're gonna try out the nines next and see how they do. All right, now onto the number nines, 12 gauge. I was so excited to see what the 20 gauge number nines did. These number nines on a 12 gauge may be lights out. Fire in the hole. Wow. Get 
Golly. I'm gonna call that good. Cause not only did we get a good pattern, but it blew straight through this cardboard box at 40 yards. Well guys, I think for my setup and Martin's setup, the Heavy Shot Heavy 18 number nines did the best. What do you think did the best? Drop us a comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. You wanna see more videos like this? I don't know, it's turkey season. I'm ready to kill some turkeys, how about you? Talk to us, let us know. Y'all have a good day.